Okay guys, we have this little flat artery man. I wanted to go over him real quick. Start at the heart. Right atrium, right ventricle. Left atrium, left ventricle. Pulmonary trunk with the pulmonary valve. Left pulmonary artery, right pulmonary artery. Ascending aorta, aortic arch. Descending aorta goes down behind. You can see the diaphragm here. Right lung, left lung. Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. Aortic arch gives off three branches, brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, left subclavian. Brachiocephalic trunk branches into right common carotid artery, right subclavian artery. You can follow that subclavian artery down to right axillary artery. You can see the veins running with. Axillary artery is going to come down, turn into brachial artery here. Brachial artery gives off deep brachial. This is brachial vein and artery running together. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Brachial artery and vein running together. This is deep brachial, I think. I hate this model. Brachial artery and vein come down. And then brachial artery, remember, is going to split into ulnar artery on the pinky side. Here's the pinky and radial artery on the thumb side. Those two vessels come together to form the superficial palmar arch. You have your common palmar digital arteries coming off of those and those common palmar digital arteries will split into proper palmar digital arteries. This right here I think is supposed to be radialis indices. You can also see one of your interosseous arteries here, which is coming off of ulnar. So this is probably anterior interosseous artery there. As far as the veins on this side go, they're showing you the superficial. So this would be cephalic vein, and this would be basilic vein. And those are all going to come up, dump into axillary vein, which then becomes subclavian vein and dumps into superior, uh, I'm sorry, brachiocephalic vein and then superior vena cava. If we follow our left common carotid artery up, we can see that it's going to split into external carotid artery and internal, which I don't really think you can see on here. External is going to give off facial artery. You can see facial vein running with it and temporal artery on the temporal lobe with temporal vein running with it. This would be your internal jugular vein on both sides. And then that's going to dump into the brachiocephalic vein here on the left, here on the right. If we look at the arteries on the left arm, you can see subclavian artery on the left, axillary artery on the left, brachial artery on the left. Brachial is going to come down, I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to show here. This is sort of confusing. But if you look at the hand, you can see the deep arch right here. So on this side, it was superficial. On this side, they're showing you deep. And then you can see your metacarpal, palmar metacarpal arteries coming off of there. This arm is a little confusing in here. Hopefully, you would not see anything tagged here because it does get a little tricky. Okay, we'll do some more. Okay, guys, now we're going to look at the arm in some detail. We're going to do the muscles first, and then we'll go back and put in all the arteries and nerves and veins if we have any. We've done some of those already, but looking at muscles, you'd have deltoid, obviously. This is your scapula, so you have infraspinatus, supraspinatus. This is teres minor, teres major. So here's that triangular space here. This is your triceps muscle, long head, lateral head. Medial head, triangular space bordered by teres major, teres minor, triceps, long head. Quadrangular space is here, bordered by triceps, long head, teres minor, teres major underneath, and your humerus bone. This is your brachialis, biceps brachii, short head, long head, coracobrachialis muscle subscapularis, teres minor from the other side. This is brachialis again. Coming down into the forearm, you have your common flexor tendon here. 
So that's going to give rise to our flexors. Flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus, with flexor digitorum underneath, flexor carpi radialis, and then here you have your pronator teres. If we flip this over, we can see our big old brachioradialis here coming from our common extensor tendon area. This would be extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi, extensor carpi ulnaris, and anconius. We look down at our hand, we see our dorsal set of lumbar, I mean interosseous muscles. One, two, three, four. We turn it back to the flexor side. You can see some of our flexors of our hand, not a ton. This is our and our abductors. This would be abductor digiti minimi. On the thumb, you have your flexor pollicis brevis, abductor pollicis brevis, and this is your opponent's pollicis. And you can see your palmar interosseous muscles and your adductor for the thumb. You have your abductor pollicis longus and your extensor pollicis brevis. And this is your extensor pollicis longus tendon. These are the tendons for your extensor digitorum. These are your intertendinous connections. So that's all the muscles on this one. So now we'll look at the arteries and the nerves. Up here, we can see this large artery here, which is axillary artery. Axillary artery running through the brachial plexus nerves, which is this stuff in yellow. Brachial plexus is a little tricky to see on here. We'll look at it in a little bit better model in a minute, but you can see some nerves really well coming off of the brachial plexus. Here we have the axillary nerve diving into that quadrangular space. And if we turn the arm over, you can see it coming out on the posterior side. And it's running with this artery, which is posterior circumflex humeral artery. You can also see your ulnar nerve and your median nerve. This artery right here would be brachial artery. On this side, you can see your musculocutaneous artery diving into coracobrachialis muscle. And you can see more musculocutaneous nerve here. If we follow these down into the forearm, you can see your brachial artery splits into ulnar artery and radial artery. Ulnar nerve again coming down, median nerve here going down the middle of the arm. Radial nerve is right here coming around that lateral side of the elbow. Here's radial artery. Here's brachial coming down and branching into ulnar artery and radial artery. Radial artery will come down and continue down to the hand. Ulnar artery will come down and will give off a branch called common interosseous artery, which will split into anterior and posterior interosseous artery and then continue on as ulnar down towards the hand. Radial and ulnar arteries come together to give rise to the superficial palmar arch. Off of the superficial palmar arch, you have your common palmar digital arteries. They will go up and branch into your common palmar digital arteries, all these little ones here. If we look on this side of the hand, we can see the continuation of radial here branching into princeps pollicis artery and radialis indices artery. These are your dorsal metacarpal arteries and dorsal digital arteries. The nerves here are named exactly the same in the hand. So common palmar digital nerves, proper palmar digital nerves, metacarpal nerves, and dorsal metacarpal nerves and dorsal digital nerves. Okay, now we'll look at a different arm.